On the morning of Saturday, December 4th, competitors of the 2021 Rio Grande Shootout played their final games of the weekend. Kicking things off were the Cobre Indians and the Hatch Bears. The Cobre Indians were able to beat the Bears 59-28. Next were the Tularosa Wildcats versus the Silver City Colts. In the first, the Colts were able to take the lead scoring 18 points, but the Wildcats were able to score 13 of their own. The Colts were consistent, scoring another 18 points in the second, and allowed the Wildcats to score 12. The third saw the Colts maintain their lead, scoring 17 points against the Wildcats 14. In the fourth quarter, the Colts would go on to win with the final score being 72-53. to For the last game of the Rio Grande shootout, the HSHS Tigers took on the Chaparral Lobos. The game started out with the Tigers coming out hot, scoring 12 points straight with the Lobos getting their only basket with two minutes left in the quarter. The Tigers would score six more points by the end of the first quarter. In the second, the Tigers were able to score 16 points, giving them a bit of a cushion against the Lobos' 12 points. After the half, the Tigers put another 13 points on the board with the Lobos trying to fight back with their own 16 points. The fourth quarter saw defensive effort from both sides as the Tigers only scored six points, but held the Lobos to only scoring four. The final score was 53 to 34, with the Tigers getting a win to close the shootout. After each game, a select number of players were chosen as all tournament players. From Hatch was number 10, David Holgen. From Cobri was number 23, Elijah Hernandez. From Silver was number 2, Julian Richards, number 22, Nick Chavez, and number 24, Zach Ping. From Tularosa was number 3, Jordan Walker, and number 15, Travis Henderson. From Chaparral was number 10, Adrian Torres. And from Hot Springs was number 32, Ethan Flores, and number 22, Randon Gossett. It was a good day to be a Tiger, as the 7th and 8th grade boys and girls basketball teams all got wins on the same day. The HSHS girls basketball team also took home the 3rd place trophy at the Red or Green Invitational Tournament in Hatch. That's it for my coverage of the 2021 Rio Grande Shootout. If you want to see coverage of the first two days, check out the links in the description. I'm Adrian Chavez from the Cerro County Sentinel, signing off.